one of the things that we've come across in our travels is that not every campground has a sewer drain. You know, a lot of campgrounds will have a water hookup, an electrical hookup. So you have your electricity, you have all enough to fill up, do your dishes and take your shower, but then you don't have a place to get rid of the water. There's so. a few ways you can take care of that. Um, some campgrounds will actually have a sewer hookup where you can drain right at your site. Those other options would be to pay someone to come and drink, pump it out, which is called a honey wagon, and they usually run around 25 bucks. You'll sometimes see people in the campgrounds that have these little, little wagon things that will carry quite a bit of water, but when we're looking into those, we realize those are pretty expensive. Those are two, three hundred bucks. And not only that, they're really big. And so you'd need to have a place to store it on your in your couch. And the third thing with those is they don't drain fully um, some, from some of the reviews. So we didn't want to spend hundreds of dollars on something that we didn't have room to store and then couldn't drain. So, so we did some research and we started to think about ways, well, how can we have a space efficient solution and a cost effective solution? And this is what we've come up with and it works really well for us because some campgrounds even have spaces that you can dump the gray water specifically. But what we have here is I just bought this blue jug from water jug from Walmart. It was about 15 bucks. And then I spray painted it to make sure I don't use it for fresh water. And then I have a, a funnel that was spent like a dollar or two for that. And then I use the existing hose lines that I would usually use at a dump station or full sewer hookup. And all I gotta do is I come in here and grab gray tank and now I only use this for gray tank, which is just dish water and shower water and stuff like that. I do not use this for black tank. And black tank is um, you know, what the toilet and stuff. So we don't use it for that. We only use it for gray, but do not ever dump this just on the ground. Gray tank can be sour after it sits for a bit and um, always find a proper place to drain that. But all I gotta do is I just pull this gray lever and I just pull it really slowly though, because as you can see with the hose like this, and with the funnel's limitations, you don't want it to all of a sudden come gushing out because you'd be likely to spill. So if you're nice and slow with the lever, it'll just give it a minute and it'll start coming out and then it'll start filling into the jug. See, there it goes, starting up. You can probably see in the video here that it's nice and clear water. It's not, not like it's really gross or anything, so. But this is a really great solution. So Once you start getting about two thirds, three quarters of the way through with this, you make sure you're keeping a really close eye because you keep in mind that you do have water still in this hose. That, so you'll want to shut it off before you get completely full. And so I'm getting up pretty close now. So I'm going to go ahead and close that and let the rest of that water come through here. And, um, and then we'll go and dump it out. Okay, here we go. Some campgrounds are closer than others. Okay, so here I am at the dump station. We generally try, when we're at a campground that doesn't have sewer hookups, we'll actually try and make a point of parking somewhere close to a dump station or one of those gray dump stations. Because as a reminder, like I was saying earlier, when you're dumping this, do not under any circumstance dump it straight onto the ground and don't go dumping it into the public restrooms. Um, the only place you want to be able to dump this is at a gray station, a gray water dumping station, or a proper dumping station like I'm using here today. So, um, just got to lift the lid, take the lid off of ours, and pour it in there. You can see it's just clear water, nice and easy, it's not like it's just from washing dishes and brushing teeth and stuff. So. Okay, so we'll go fill it back up. And that's one more thing too, if you had a, a truck or something that you were able to carry more than one of these, you could actually put them in your vehicle and then drive your vehicle over and dump a couple at a time, which would then, which would save you time at both ends of the equation here. For us it's just easy, one jug, very little space, but uh, just another little tip to keep in mind. It takes me usually a few trips because it's only five gallons at a time compared to those other ones. So it takes a little more time this way, but it saves us a ton of money. It's a great solution. We don't have to break camp with our coach to go dump it. And I hope you like this tip. If you have other tips that you'd like to share with us, please put them in the comments below. We would love to see those. And if you'd like to see some of our future tips, uh, please subscribe.